Um, I'm going to talk about lab safety. Accidents in the lab are often caused by improper or careless procedures. So for this lab, we want to demonstrate how um, lab safety is very important. We're going to be working with microorganisms in our lab. These microbes are generally non-pathogenic. However, they can cause disease under certain conditions. What we want you to do is learn how to um, work with your microbes properly and know how to safely handle your microbes. So the first thing that I want to mention is that you should never eat, drink, or chew gum in the microbiology lab. You should not put pens or pencils or your fingers in your mouth. The next thing you need to do is make sure that you wash your hands before you leave the lab. Our lab has three sinks. There's absolutely no excuse for not washing your hands. Um, you should also be wearing a lab coat when you come to the lab. This lab coat is going to help, pre um, help pre um, prevent you from staining your clothes. It also allows microbes to fall on your lab coat, not on your street clothes. When you pipette, you should never pipette by mouth. We have pipette aids that will help you. In this class, we are going to be working with a lot of different bacterial cultures. So our cultures are going to be either in a test tube or they are going to be on a petri plate. Um, whenever you are done working with your cultures, cultures should be discarded in a biohazard bag. Um, so this is our biohazard container. Um, so any petri plate will go in there. The swabs that we use for our microbes in the envir environment experiment also go into this container. Um, when we have test tubes, test tubes are going to go into baskets or racks that are sitting on this um, cart. Liquid cultures should always be held upright. Never tilt them on their side. If you tilt them on their side, they will spill. They will either spill on your hand or they will spill all over the floor or your bench top. If you do happen to spill your culture, make sure that you contact your lab instructor. One of the most important things we do in this lab is sanitize our working surfaces. So what we do is we take our disinfectant, which is in a bottle that looks like this, we spray it on our lab bench, let it sit for a minute, and then we wipe it up with a paper towel. This will help sanitize your lab surface. So we do this when we come into the lab and also when we leave our lab. You always want to assume that the person that was working in the lab ahead of you did not clean their space. When you're done, your paper towel can either be discarded in the trash can, or if there are microbes on it, it should be discarded in the biohazard bag. If you do happen to spill your culture of microorganisms, you want to cover, completely cover the area with the disinfectant that we just used to wipe off our table. Um, you should then notify your lab instructor if there's any broken glass, your lab instructor will take care of cleaning up the broken glass. Broken glass then goes into the broken glass container that we have in the lab. In our lab, we use incinerators to sterilize our inoculating loops. This is what the incinerator looks like. Um, so basically what you would do is you turn your incinerator on when we're going to use it. It'll take a few minutes for it to heat up It'll start glowing orange on the inside, and it will be very hot. And you're gonna use this to sterilize your inoculating loop, which looks like this. So to sterilize your loop, you just put your loop in the incinerator, you leave it there until it is red, and then you let your loop cool off before you use it. Um, with your incinerators, Make sure that you don't leave them unattended. When you are done using for them for the day, turn them off. Um, if you have long hair or any loose clothing, make sure that they are confined. So pull your hair back. Um, make sure that if you have, you're wearing like a baggy sweater, you might want to just take it off and not wear it in class that day. 
Um, you don't want to expose them to any fire hazards or to microbes. The last thing we want to do is make sure that you label um, your cultures with marker. So you can, you can label your test tubes directly with a marker. You can also write directly on Petri plates with a marker. Every culture must be labeled. You should also make sure that you remove any unnecessary books and personal items from your work area. So the only thing you really need to have in class with you is your lab manual. You want to have a notebook and something to write with. You do not need to have a laptop. You should not have phones out. You don't want to potentially contaminate any of your electronics. It is very hard to sterilize these objects if they were to get contaminated. Um, if you have any cuts on your hands, make sure that you keep them covered. If you need to, um, ask your lab instructor for a Band-Aid or wear gloves during class. Um, when we work with microscopes, um, we're going to be making slides, and these slides need to be um, cleaned properly. So what we do is we dunk them in bleach, and then we clean them with a detergent, and then you can reuse your slides. Um, just make sure that if you are disposing of any contaminated glass, glassware that they are disposed of in the proper container. Um, in the event that you spill some kind of chemical on yourself or get chemicals in your eye, we have a safety shower in our lab. Um, so the safety shower is right here, here's the handle, and then this is the eye wash. You need to flush um, for 15 minutes if you're going to, if you do get something in your eye. Okay. So even though we are not going to be in the lab this semester, it is still important that you understand something about lab safety. You may have to use um, some of these lab safety techniques in the real world once you graduate and find a job. If you work in a lab, you're going to need to do things like wear a lab coat, wear gloves, sanitize your workspace. You may be handling um, cultures. So you need to be able to properly use these things.